What's up guys, SpinFireMs here, and today we're going to be talking about one of the handguns that grew on me the most. I wasn't the biggest fan of it, didn't like its release necessarily, I did like some things about the release, but other things I didn't like, and I thought Glock could have done better. But today, we're going to be talking about the Glock 43X. I got the 43X and the 48 a couple years back, right, when it first came out, before there was a rail option, before it came optics ready. Therefore, I've had to change out the slide in order to get an optic on there. But when I saw this handgun being the same length as a Glock 19 or a Glock 23, it shocked me. I was like, how can Glock know that there's a Sig P365, the Hellcat, the Shield Plus, the Mossberg MC2SC, all these handguns, but they release a single stack? It just didn't make sense to me. So for 10 plus 1 in this, you can get 17 plus 1 in the X Macro. You can get 17 plus 1 in the Hellcat, the original with the 3 inch barrel. So that just didn't make sense to me. And on top of that, I have a harder time concealing this in warmer months. So in summertime and so on, I have a hard time concealing it. But before we fully get started, hit the like button, drop a comment down below, subscribe, tell me your thoughts on the 43X, tell me your favorite go-to everyday carry option, and let's get started. Like I was saying though, there's a lot of negatives. One thing I did like about it though is the stainless steel release. Now I didn't get the stainless steel one, I wanted to get one, I'm honestly probably going to buy one for my 43, the stainless steel slide. I just love the stainless steel combo. I love how the finish is on stainless steel and I think it does an awesome job. That's just my favorite, it's just preference. But I like that they did that. But the fact that they could give you a different finish than all the other Glocks, but not do anything with the mag capacity and you know so on, made me a little angry. On top of that, what I love about the 26 is you can shorten it to pocket carry size with that flush 10 round mag and that gets 10 plus one. But you also can throw in the 33 round mag if you want. The Glock 43X comes with one, or two, it, it, out of the box it comes with two mags, but it only has one option, and it's a 10 round mag. I wish they would have given us eight rounds to here, and then a uh, mag with a mag sleeve to 10 down there, because now I'm okay with the 10 plus one of the 43X. Now for the range use, I use dagger mags and I use shield arms mags because I haven't had any issues, but I will never carry with aftermarket mags, so I carry with that 10 plus one. And the reason why I'm fine with the 10 plus 1 is the overall shootability of this handgun. Like I said, I wasn't a fan of the 43X at first because I'm like, why would I get that when I have a 13 plus 1 set up with this base plate right here? 13 plus 1, reliable, using Glock OEM mags and Glock springs. And then on your right, you have 10 plus 1 using an OEM mag. And you're like, why would I get rid of that, um, make it harder to print, or make it easier to print, harder to conceal, and so on. And it just didn't make sense to me. And why wouldn't you sh allow us to shorten it if we wanted to, like a Hellcat or a P365 or all these other Micro 9s? Why not give us that? That would be so easy just to chop the handle to here, or the grip to here, give us the 10 round mag down to here with a grip sleeve, and then 8 rounds flush in a Glock 43 size. Why not do that? Or even like the shadow systems. Why not do that? But they didn't. So that bothered me. But then you actually really get to shooting this thing a lot. Now, like I said, I don't carry it the most, but I bring this to the range almost every time I go. And it's the shootability. It's the grip angle. It's the ergonomics. It's the reliability. They all play a role. If I have a handgun that's 10 plus 1, it's reliable, it's a smooth shooter, all that, then that's just fine with me. I'm fine with 10 plus 1. I carry 6 plus 1 and 45 ACP out of a small package. I carry 7 plus 1 out of a little single stack. My work carry that I carry 55 to 60 plus hours a week is 7 plus 1. So I'm okay with 10 plus 1 and 9 millimeter. But for me, it's the tech, it's the overall ergonomics of this handgun. Now, without grips, it's trash. Glock has a terrible texture on all their firearms. That's why I threw grip here and here. The only good place is on the finger groups. But Glock 43X doesn't have finger groups, so it has crappy texturing here as well. Get yourself some handle edge series grips. Throw it on there. And man, does this fit my hand like a glove. And for reference, I wear size large gloves. And I have fat fingers because they're always swollen. But it just fits this handgun really well. My finger comes down right to that magazine, locking these three fingers in. Um, and it's just, it's go time. I absolutely love this thing. Now, it's been 100% reliable, even with the Shield Arms mags, even with the um, PSA Dagger mags, like I've said. 100% reliable with OEM mags. It shoots Civil Liberty Defense rounds and Underwood Extreme Defense rounds, uh, which are my favorite Extreme Defenders, which are my favorite defensive rounds out there. So I'm all good with it. But for me, like I said, it's the ergonomics. It's the feel of the handgun. 
It's the fact that after I had a rough day at work and my hands are really hurting, and when I go to grip this thing to shoot it and it feels good instead of like, and eh, this is hurting my hands, that, that's huge for me. So this is a handgun I know I can always fall back on. But it's also that grip angle. The grip angle on the 43X is just the perfect grip angle in my opinion. The second you up it, if you're used to shooting Glocks, the second you up it, you're on target. Your sights align. It just naturally happens. And it's just something about the 43X that does that. So when I look at all those negatives that I just mentioned, and then I start thinking about the positives and the fact that Glock designed it to have that great grip angle and that very ergonomic feel for the average size hand. And also, it has a much better trigger than the Glock 26. The slim line from Glock overall has much better triggers. Here's that 43X trigger. See how crisp and clean that is and no after tra or over travel reset. Here's my Glock 26. See how spongy that is? The reset's a little better on this, but it's also spongier when you go to pull it. On the 43X is just crisp. You see that? It's actually pretty interesting putting them side by side like that. Look at that. Crisp, clean, ready? Now watch. Sponginess. See that? So, it is what it is. But when you combine the grip angle of this, the reliability, that better trigger that's on all the slim lines, the 42, the 43, the 43X, and the 48, and the way it just gets on target, it's it's just a great handgun. I have zero complaints. Um, one of my favorite handguns that I own. And like I said, I've gotten a lot of use out of it. I have a bunch of Glock OEM barrels, and I just go through them like crazy because I put a ton of rounds through my 43X, a ton of rounds through 43s, and so on. Like builds, I have a 43s. But... This thing right here, during winter time, during spring and fall, this is going to be in my carry rotation pretty soon here. Just got to continue testing it with everything I've done to it. It's almost at that 500 round mark for all these aftermarket parts, and it's done a great job. And that's one of the greatest things about getting the 43X is because it's one of the most selling handguns, you can get a holster anywhere. You can get a slide anywhere, optics anywhere, sights anywhere, back plates, base plates, grips, any part or accessory that's aftermarket, you can find it for this handgun. And that allows you to make it absolutely perfect to your liking. And in my opinion, this setup right here is perfect. I have a lighter slide because of all these cuts for the porting, but I'm not running a ported barrel. I got an OEM barrel in there. It makes it a little bit lighter. The grips make the, <laughs> this just perfect. When I feel this, I honestly feel perfection. So when they say Glock perfection, the 43X really does have the perfect grip angle. It's just an awesome, awesome handgun. I did hate on it at first, but it's grown on me. And that just comes with any handgun. There's handguns I love one day, don't like the next day. I carry them one day and then I'm like, eh, I want to switch. And sometimes that just happens if your hands are beat up or abused or, you know, you use them a lot at your job and so on. And sometimes you just want to switch it up. But the 43X for me is one of those handguns I can always go back to and just feel relieved the second I grip it because it feels so good in the hand. Love the 43X. That is the handgun that's really grown on me. Thanks for watching, guys.